Kim, you look quite comfortable there sitting down. I am. Can you take some time and just see if we have any new myths rolling in? Sure, I can do that. Oh, so this one's actually kind of interesting. It's a little different than what we've looked at in the past. Oh, tell me a little bit more. I like interesting. Okay, well, I think we have it. This customer would like to know about mass spec. And specifically, they're looking at basic analytics and they're wondering about performance and electrospray positive. Ah, okay, probably when using basic mobile phase additives? Yes. Ah, oh, that's kind of interesting. Um, I think this is something we could positively help our customer oh, with. Oh boy. I know a lot of people think that you can't analyze basic analytics at basic pH in electrospray positive. Exactly, it's kind of counterintuitive, mm -hmm. but we do have a fancy mass spectrometer right here, all yep. equipped and ready to go. Okay. So let's set this up. Um, I'll get some columns, I'll make the solvents, and we'll run the experiments. All right, let's do it. All right. So Kim, I was able to procure this tandem quad, super high powered mass spectrometer from one of the scientists. Thankfully, they're not charging us for it to run this experiment. Um, how do you want to set up the solvents? Okay, so I think we should run a couple of different basic analytes for some variety. And we should run acidic pH and basic pH so that we can compare the signal intensity we see in electrospray positive. That's a good point. Um, obviously, since we're going to be running alkaline mobile phases, uh, we probably should be using a hybrid column because if you remember on a previous myth, um, you need a hybrid column to be able to run under alkaline conditions. Very important. We don't want to be dissolving silica. Exactly. So I'll procure one of those. Okay. Um, by procuring, I mean stealing. And uh, how about running the percent organic gradient? What do you think about that? Ah, we need to make sure that the analytes elute at the same percentage of organic. Okay. Because if we have a compound that's eluting at a higher percentage of organic, then that can give us an artificially high result. So we need to match those. Awesome, awesome. So we'll just basically compare and contrast the signal intensity um, at uh, acidic conditions and basic conditions. And that should really help understand this myth. That will give us what we need to either bust this myth or trust this myth. Love it. Kim, it just so happens that there's a great paper here that we can reference um, that kind of works along the same lines as what we're doing with this myth. Uh, it uses 0.1% formic acid and 0.1% ammonium hydroxide and looks at basic analytes using electrospray positive. That's a great reference to have. Kim, the mass spec results are in. And when you look at this first set of chromatograms that came off of the mass spec, when you look at the analysis of that basic analyte amiprazole uh, under both the acidic and basic conditions using again, electrospray positive mode, it's really obvious that you get a much better signal when using the basic additive ammonium hydroxide at 0.1% in the mobile phase over formic acid. I see that. And the results of the same sample, but in rat plasma, it confirms this. So just to note, I mean, I'm not really not seeing a difference in signal enhancement or suppression when you compare the two. So Kim, how does the results look when we tried to match up the percent organic so that the compounds elute um, under both acidic and basic conditions at the same organic strength. Right, so if we look at fluticasone and we look at the chromatography in acidic mobile phase and basic mobile phase, you'll see that we have much better signal in the basic mobile phase. And this experiment is great because it takes out the difference in percentage organic composition that can impact the mass spec signal. We can see that basic pH is actually giving us a really good signal for a basic compound. Yeah, this is fantastic. Good work. Kim, based on the experiments that we ran and the data that we were able to collect with those basic analytes run under both acidic and basic mobile phase conditions in electrospray positive mode, I think it's pretty convincing that you can get a really good signal, if not a better signal, when using a basic additive in your mobile phase. Yep, so I think it's obvious, but how do you want to call this one? So this is so busted. I mean, a lot of people might not screen with the basic additive just because they may not have the column that can handle the alkaline mobile phase. But if you really want to screen your MS sensitivity, you should be screening under both acidic and basic conditions if possible. Right. It's not obvious, but I think we definitely proved this one. It's busted. Busted. Let's let them know. Let's let them know. If you'd like your question to be answered on a future episode, please feel free to email us at trustyourscience at waters.com.